Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you aren't. I am so excited about today's video. I recently thought about this, but when I was in college, I would do my makeup so, so differently. I recently thought about how after graduating college, I kind of had a bit of a culture shock when it came to like the workplace and what was appropriate, what was not appropriate. I went to school during COVID and so everything was just really different. My internships were not in person, so my first time in an actual office with co-workers was literally like six months ago which is insane my first job was remote for the most part and it was really hard the occasional times where i did see co-workers and i was like wait like what do i wear how do i do my makeup how do i kind of figure out this particular situation so today i'm going to show you guys my everyday corporate makeup keep in mind i do have a relatively relaxed office structure but i can't like show up in my pajamas and i don't really feel super comfortable just like not wearing any makeup i feel like anytime i do that people are like are you ill and i'm like no i'm just not wearing makeup <laughs> so i'm gonna show you guys what i do on a daily basis for work definitely different than what i did in college either i would wear no makeup and go to class like this or or I would definitely do it up a little bit more, have more fun with makeup or going out and having, you know, parties and whatever. So I'm going to show you guys what I do every single day. Let's get started. I am a big proponent on using any type of lotion, especially during the winter. I kind of change this up depending on the day, but right now I've been using a combination of things. So I just start with CeraVe. I think this axe is like a really good base, but it's a little bit thin. I like to give that a moment to dry and like settle down a little bit. I try and go for products that are a little bit cheaper during the workday because I care a little bit less of what people think about me or like the way I look. But when I go out during the weekends and stuff, I like to use my Charlotte Tilbury. It's just a little bit more expensive. Well, it's actually a lot more expensive than the CeraVe one. So I feel like it's just a good idea to save the products that you really like or times where you care a little bit more what you're Makeup looks like you'll get a better result but this is more expensive i have actually been really into using primer i used to be kind of anti-primer i don't fully know if you're supposed to be putting this on after your moisturizer but that's what i do i'm just using the photo finish one from smashbox this is obviously a sample but i started using it and i just noticed such a big difference my skin really struggles during the winter and i feel like this helps hide some of those pores and stuff it also helps because i don't know something about like office air your makeup just like something unsettling happens and it just looks weird we're just gonna blend that all in get it down onto your neck a little bit as well now we are gonna go into actual like foundation concealer i like to use the bye bye under eye by it cosmetics and just cover up any kind of blemishes i have i definitely i'm Fortunately, do have blemishes um a lot of these are old zit that like the coloring just won't go away for me my skin has a tendency to get red sometimes like that so it's super annoying what i like to do though is kind of go over it with this let it warm it up a bit leave it on there for about a minute or so i just find this blends it a little bit better and i like to apply it with my hand just because i feel like i don't know like it gives like a little bit of a better result i also try to put an even amount on both sides sides because i feel like it'll make one side of my face way too light and then same with concealer for under my eye i try not to do too much because i think it looks weird i have like just naturally like kind of sunken in under eyes and so it's super obvious when i conceal too much i can do a whole video on like specifically like weekend makeup that i do but this is an example of something i would use on the weekend not really during the weekday it's just the Dr. Jart green stuff. I don't really know what it's called, but it cancels out a lot of those red spots. Again, this is like a more expensive product, so I'd rather use this on like a weekend. All right, time to blend this out a little bit. I try and go in really, really lightly with my hand. That way I don't completely get rid of the product I just put on. It definitely depends on the day, but I'm gonna go in with the CC cream. I like this because it has SPF in it. It's definitely not like super nice in New York yet, but it's getting there and so I wanna be extra cautious about my skin. Since this is a CC cream, it doesn't have a ton of coverage, so it shouldn't look cakey, but it should just add like a nice glow. This one I have to be kind of careful about, like making sure to blend it out since it is a little bit more sheer. There are times where it can like stick too much in one area, and so I just have to be mindful of that. Hounds of the city. I also, this sounds so weird, I like to get my ears and like behind them if I'm wearing my hair off like I am today, just because every once in a while there will be like a photo of me that's taken from the side, and I'm like, I totally forgot that part of my face existed like i should probably put makeup there too because it is not blended 
so that is done if i don't do that step so i just do the concealer sometimes i will put contour on that way it kind of adds like a little bit more definition to my face and it's not so bright white it's like a little bit more like shapely i guess and like it doesn't look so harsh if i have like a tan or something i don't really need this today but again like this is another example of something i would use during the weekend not really during the weekday by the way like feel free to absolutely do this it's just like the office that i work in like i don't really feel like doing it so if you work in an office where you feel like you're like you should do it or you want to do it definitely do it now i'm gonna go in for blush i really kind of go a little bit heavy on my blush i just like the way it looks i feel like my skin naturally pulls a little bit more red so it doesn't look too jarring to me to see my skin a little bit pinkier than <laughs> average i always blend this with my hands like i i can't ever get a good result when i don't blend it with my hands so hands of it i will always use highlight i just love it i know it's maybe silly for the office but i am a big fan i also like to just put it on my eyelids too i think it's such a good idea because then it looks like you're a little bit more put together than you are like it's like oh she actually did her eyeshadow and it's like no i absolutely did not <laughs> i just blend all of that out again it's just like super super rough it doesn't have to be anything special <laughs> all right now we are gonna do mascara the best trick is to just get eyelash extensions so you never have to do this but they bother me too much roll your eyelashes one time when i was in high school i ripped out a whole chunk of my eyelashes from curling them so i, I am always very careful something i've noticed is that during the work day my mascara tends to fall so i've had to start using waterproof mascara which is so weird i know it's not the best for your lashes but i'm just using the maybelline sky limit thing let me see what is that called like high sky something along those lines sky high so the nice thing is this is a tubing mascara which just means it i don't know exactly what it means but i know that the formula is different enough to wear when it comes off it like comes off in clumps not in like smears so it does make it easier whenever you make a mistake i try and go right on that waterline that way i get like a little bit of eyeliner without it looking hard i also always do my my lower lashes feel free to not do them if you're not a fan of that but i feel like my eyes are kind of large so it doesn't close them off when i wear it it actually just makes them look like nice and normal i'm gonna let that dry a little bit and i'm going to take my bronzer just the physician's formula butter bronzer i take this and i kind of use this to set my makeup a little bit I like to do this again, especially if I'm wearing my hair up, which I feel like I kind of do often in the office. I recently bought the Dior blush that everyone is raving about, and I hate to say it, I really like it. Is this worth $40? I'm unsure. $40 for blush is kind of insane, but I do think it gives like the perfect little like pinky appearance, and I like to set cream blush with powder because I think it just like sets better and everything like looks really nice and cohesive which is great. I recently did eyebrow lamination at home so my eyebrows have been like a little bit more in place. They've looked a little bit darker so I am just going to use my brow pomade. I would typically fill them in but today I just don't feel like I have to. This is just from e.l.f. I go in straight with my finger. I never used to but then I realized that like it just applies better for me honestly this way. It can kind of leave a little bit of like a white hue on them so you have to be a little bit careful. I brush it out. Look at how nasty this is because that's like I literally just brush it out with this and it gets so much wax on it so I would highly recommend like a dedicated spoolie for this situation. Okay so totally optional to stop right now. I like to do one more step just to have a little bit more fun with it but i like to add this like kind of like shiny brown eyeliner from pixie i really like it and i just tight line with it and then i go on my lid a little bit and the thing i like about doing this is i can be messy with my mascara and then just blend this out and it like looks like it was meant to look like that and now i just blend it out with my finger i found like as i get older my favorite thing to do is like revert to my past self and like just go in with my finger for things like makeup it's crazy this is also so silly but i have a little freckle here 
that I like, but it gets covered by my makeup, so I just redraw it in. You like can't even tell, it's like not even there, but <laughs> I do it every single day, and I maybe it looks stupid, I don't know. Now, lips have been something that has been so challenging for me. I think the biggest struggle I've had with office makeup is lip. I have never really been super into lip product. I like feel uncomfortable with lipstick on, but my natural lips are just really pale, and they look a little silly without anything on them. They're also not particularly large at all, so it can look weird when I have like product on them. I don't know. What I like to do, I go in with the Benetton and then I just stain them. So like this. I like this more as a lip stain than I do a blush. It's still good as a blush, but this is my favorite way to use it. I like it because I can like drink my coffee and like have conversations without worrying about it going anywhere. I also really enjoy Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury and Whirl by MAC. This one is a little bit more natural. I'll show you. Like that. And I really like this. I don't have a lip shape that looks good over lines since I have a pretty prominent cupid's bow so I have to like maintain it a little bit and like keep it on, you know, I have to like keep my lips looking looking small unfortunately so I can't overline it I'm really bad at it and it looks weird that is the finished everyday office makeup this is my go-to this is what I wear every single day like tried and true I'm filming a video and it only took me 20 minutes and whenever I film a video it just like always takes a little bit longer anyway this usually can take me between like 10 and 15 minutes it's so quick it's so easy I hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe down below if you haven't yet I am enjoying making content so much lately it's just been so fun and like New York has just been so inspiring to me so if you guys want more content like this or if you want more vlog styles my day in the life kind of stuff like that be sure to subscribe down below and if you want to see me on other socials all my ads are samantha.hope i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching bye